Hi folks, thanks for joining me for this week's River Fly tutorial. Uh, what you see in the vise is a very small but very heavy bug. So without further ado, let's get into it. In the vise then is the long awaited Hanak H450 barbless hook at size 18. This is a black nickel hook and it's a medium wire gauge and I've coupled that with the Hanak 3mm slotted tungsten bead. It's a small slot so it sits on the size 18, just lovely. The thread I'm going to be using today is the Vivas GSP and it's at 50 denier. So first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of super glue to the shank of my hook and then cast my thread on. Get a nice little on ramp. Always like to uh, make sure the bead's not going to go anywhere while I'm tying. I don't like that. So I like to build up a bit of thread just in behind the bead. And then I can run my thread back up the shank of the hook. Not far to go on a size 18. <laughs> now for the tail of this little bug, I'm going to be using uh, some Cock de Leon feathers. And I want to take approximately half a dozen. I'm not going to count them out, the fish don't care. So I've got them there lined up and I want about two eighths of an inch of that protruding, I think. Let me just do that again. It's, uh, it's much more difficult doing a video with the smaller hook, I think. But uh, I've managed to get the tail where I want it and at the length I want it. So I'll take that as a win. You can then remove your waist. Like so. And I've got quite a lot of work to do with the taper of the body. But first I want to catch my rib in. And for the rib I'm going to be using some of the trout line super long stripped herals. And this is natural. They've been hand cleaned. And I've already taken one out of the packet here, as you can see, really long. Now I want the narrowest bit possible, so I'm just going to snip away where you see that there's still a bit of feather. And I'm going to catch that in on my side. A couple of turns. And then what I can do now is just concentrate on getting that body shape right. Now I know this um, this bead looks a little large for the size of the hook, but um, that's one of the reasons I love the 450 so much. Um, the distance between the point and the eye of the, the hook, you, you'll notice, is, is quite significant and that's the area where you're going to hook your fish up and that needs to be kept clear. A lot of the jig hooks, um, I think the points are too close to the eye of the hook and uh, that, that's what makes me not like them so much. So I'm fairly happy with that taper and now I'm going to bring my strip peacock herald around the body. Just take your time with this. You want to try and get touch and turns all the way up the body of the fly. Now if you're not confident in getting these touch and turns, what you can do is with a Vivas thread is colour the thread with a Pantone marker so you can make it brown, black, whatever you like and that will hide any any mistakes in your tying. But to be perfectly honest at this size I don't think it's going to make a great deal of difference. So I've got that in place and I'm just bringing a thread wrap over to hold that in. Then I'll get three or four turns on and then come in front of my strip quill. And then I can just come in with my snips and remove that. Now I want to protect that, so I'm just going to use a little bit of UV resin. It doesn't take much, just enough to keep it in place so that it lasts more than one fish. With me. There we 
we go. Then give it a quick blast with your UV pen. Just make sure it's all cured. Because we're going to add a hair hackle. Now, this is a great technique actually. If you didn't want to hackle the fly, and I don't want to do it on this occasion, you can use a little bit of dubbing. So I'm just going to pull my thread down a bit. And the dubbing I'm going to use is uh, it's the Trout Stalkers. And this one is Thorax Orange. Now I don't want a load of this. The tiniest of pinches. So I've just taken a little bit out the corner here. And that's what I've got to work with. So I'm just going to put that into my left hand while I use my needle to run along the back of my thread, flatten it out and just open it up. Oh, these old eyes. There we go. So I've got that open, I think. <laughs> and next, you can just put your little pinch of thread, uh, sorry, your pinch of dubbing inside your thread loop. Now, there isn't very much at all in there, but what I'm going to do next is spin it up. And once I'm content it's spun up, I'm going to then come in with my thumb and forefinger in my right hand and I'm just going to strip that out even, even further. And uh, just put that dubbing at the side, it can go back in the packet. And then bring it round a couple of turns and what you've got is a, a very light haired up wing. And that's ideal. If there's any fibres too long you can just pluck them away. And then to finish off, I'm going to add a little bit of super glue to my thread. Then come in with your whip finisher. Three turns. And then you can just take away your thread and the jobs are good in. Sometimes you just need a very small fly but it needs to get deep real quick and that's what the, the Perdigon Nymphs are and uh, if you haven't seen a Perdigon Nymph I'll stick it up in the information bar and you can have a look at one I tied earlier. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like what I'm doing please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time.